Oh, hey there, Devin Trine here, vlog number 10 or 15, something like that. We're here recording the owner of a restaurant for a little new series we're developing. Super stoked to show you. I will link it later below. But I do want to let you know we're actually going to start this thing where we, we meet the owners, check out these new places, super excited about it. Besides interviewing these restaurants, I want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with the business. So far, we are Saturday, January 12th, 2019. We have one contract close. We have five properties under escrow. We have eight new listings, and we're gonna go sit in open house. Remember Pueo Nani? We're gonna do an open house there today to see if we can't secure a buyer and show you guys a little bit more about the inner workings of our real estate dealings. Homeless being a huge, huge concern here on the island and with the prices the way they are, it's really difficult for a lot of people to actually afford a, a proper living. Where did the idea come from to reach out and just feed the community? Because I think that's something a lot of restaurants don't go put the energy into. Well, uh, it wasn't an idea that came to me. It was a vision that came to me. And th the vision was just that, was to come and pay it forward in that respect. It's dear, very dear to my heart, what I do when I feed the homeless. We've partnered up with pastors over in the Salt Lake area, and they're the ones that actually do the feeding. They know where the need is, so they're the ones that do the feeding. We only prepare the food, uh, the sack lunch, which is a burrito, a fruit, and a water. And uh, we'll average 150 to 200 sack lunches, and we'll put them out to the pastors to, uh, so they can distribute it to the, uh, to the homeless. Payback for me is not only that I'm following my vision, but it's very dear to my heart. It's extremely dear to my heart. Uh, seeing the kids come for one sack lunch and then 15 minutes later circling back and seeing them grab another one, I know there's a need. And the need is so bad that I just feel super obligated to keep on paying that forward to the community. Not only in Salt Lake, but in Wahiwa also. It brings us a lot of satisfaction when people are always telling us, you know, this is the food that I miss back home. This is the food that, that, that I grew up on. This is, tastes just like uh, Mexican food places in California. Um, I had one lady tell me that uh, our rice and beans alone is something that she came back for. Our concept is not only to bring better meat, higher quality, but in everything that we do, uh, we, we try to do it to the best of our ability. So here we have uh, Oaxacan chicken mole enchiladas served with beans and rice. And this is our chef Robert's uh, Oaxacan mole that he makes. This is the mole that is, um, again, pretty safe to say is uh, one of a kind here on Oahu. All right, and what we have right here is we have uh, enchiladas. Enchiladas come in a Salsa roja or salsa verde. Uh, this is a red and a green uh, enchilada that's served with beans and rice. And what we have right here, we have our certified Angus beef carne asada tacos. Uh, a very good go-to uh, when you come over for the first time if you want to check us out. Um, tacos are served on a five inch corn tortilla, double tortilla with uh, cilantro and onions. Every Tuesday we do taco special, so definitely come by and check that out too. So what we have here is one of our house specials. This is a carne asada plate served with beans and rice, a jalapeno, cebolla. Uh, you get a little uh, green on there as well. Comes with tortillas, corn or flour. And our carne asada plate is, is definitely one of our signature plates. Uh, we do an in-house marinade that, uh, that I feel nobody else has here on this island. 
It's an eight ounce skirt steak. And again, it's that certified Angus beef uh, quality meat that you're gonna get. So definitely a go-to if you're, it's your first time trying this out. This is another one of our house specials. This is our California fries. California fries, it starts off with a premium potato, can of big potatoes. These potatoes are cut in-house. They're fresh, never frozen. And it is topped with Monterey Jack cheese, a very good cheese. Uh, and then on top of that, to add to the goodness, is again, your certified Angus beef uh, carne asada. You can also get this in any of the proteins that we have but the uh, carne asada is, is the more popular one. Uh, pico de gallo, uh, which is made fresh daily, sour cream, guacamole, and of course, jalapenos. Pretty excited to see how the steak is. Super thumbs up. So uh, how does this compare to food from home? You know, I moved from a place that has a very big Mexican population. Growing up in friends' houses, homemade stuff, really the good stuff. And when we moved to Hawaii, it was kind of hard to find a, a place that felt like it was filling my heart with warmth. Uh, because authentic is not really the right word to say it. This has got that. Oh, shit. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs>